If you need to take your coins out of a wallet, um, transparent wallet, that no longer supports Zcash because of the uh, network upgrade, we have now a new functionality in Y Wallet that allows you to do so. So I'm going to demonstrate this functionality with a um, random key that I'm creating through this website. So the website is uh, Iron Coleman Beep 39. Um, so I start by generating a fresh 24 seed phrase, but obviously you should use the seed phrase that your hardware wallet or your current wallet currently has. The next step is um, to import that account in uh, Y Wallet. So I go to Y Wallet and uh, I create a new account. I'm going to name this account Restore from Ledger, for example. For example. And I'm check the Zcash and the uh, Restore an account so that I can enter the seed phrase, the 24 words that I copied from the website. Then I click Import. This will create a new account for me that I can now select. If the app ask you to restore or to rescan, sorry, uh, you can miss, you can do so, but restoration is not needed. Rescan is not needed for transparent addresses. I'm just doing a rescan here so that I'm not bothered by the uh, the message. You can notice that now in the um, new UI, we have made some accessibility improvements so that the, the scrolling synchronization process uh, it can be paused or uh, cycled through by tapping on the on the phrase, uh, on the message. It's now it says that I'm three hours behind, so I'm just gonna wait until it synchronizes. All right, so we have we tap to go to the transparent address, and let's check that this address is matches what we have on the website. So, okay, one thing I forgot to uh, forgetting to do here is that you have to switch. Obviously, you have to switch to uh, Zcash. By default, it will be BTC. So, don't forget to switch to Zcash. And now we can check that the first address um, ends. It's the same. So it ends with XMA. And let's see if XMA is over there. Yeah, it's the same address. So if you want to derive other accounts, you can do create new uh, sub account, and this will create the um, external internal address at uh, index uh, one, two, three. But if instead you want to change the um, the account number, the current the current functionality doesn't work, and you have to uh, to use this new feature that I'm introducing here. So long tap on the QR code, and now you can enter any arbitrary derivation path. So if I use this derivation path, so you have to be very specific and match exactly the um, the, the format th that uh, the um, website offer, uh, shows. So I choose the first account. Now it's um, M44 prime, 133 prime, one prime, zero, zero. And we can check if the address that now, why what it has matches the one from the website. The website shows uh, 8i. And um, we should have 8i on uh, on our app as well and you can see it's uh, it is 8i so with this feature you can you can match any address that another wallet would have as long as it uses the same uh, pro the same standard bip 44 or bip 32 so in each case whether it has uh, 12 18 or 24 words this will work. We just need to figure out what derivation path it uses. So Ledger will use 
Now, if you create another account in Ledger, it will create a new account address based on the account index. And then inside this account, as you make several payments, they will generate new transparent addresses, which will match the, um, the external internal. Again, this um, one thing to keep in mind is that this feature is very advanced and you should use it only if you really need to get your funds out of a hardware wallet and nothing else is working. Uh, it's not meant to be super, uh, it's not meant to be extremely uh, fr user friendly, but it will get your coins out when no other software will be able to.